so this is going to be a reading for my Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be for August 30th until September 2nd. Now, keep in mind, this is general, so only take what does apply to you and let the rest fly. If you want more so of a personal reading, just check out the description box. And make sure you subscribe so you never miss a beat. Um, so let me lay these on top as well. Okay, so let's get straight into it. The theme for this time frame, I have the Magician card as well as New Beginnings. And, hmm, um, so this time frame has a lot to do with, Turning one negative situation into something that works for you or turning a negative into something positive and you realizing how you may have to transmute your energy um, from focusing on negatives and not seeing how you could make it benefit you in the end or like recognizing your personal power, especially when it correlates to like new experiences. So for a lot of you, you may be trying to manifest new love into your life or trying to manifest the ability to be able to move or do certain things. But where's your personal confidence lie in regards to that? Clarifying that I have the four cups. Yeah. So also this has a lot to do with you coming to come into terms with the fact that you're not 100% pleased with certain things. And this could be, for instance, if this is your relationship, trying to manifest a level of change within that. Trying to turn a negative environment into something positive. Trying to turn a negative situation in terms of a job into something that works for you. This is you overall just trying to regain personal power. Now, when it comes to possible positive things that may come in, I do have the Suffering in Silence card as well as the Ten of Swords. So how these got in the positive things area, I don't know. But, oh, well, I see why. So if you have been suffering in silence, this is no more with the Ten of Swords. You can no longer be silent about what you're suffering about. It may be that aggravating that you can't be. A lot of you are going to be also speaking up for yourself. Yeah, speaking up for yourself or standing your ground more like where you may have not stood up for yourself enough in the past. It's like, that's no more at this point because you realize that that just left you getting the short end of the stick in the end with your relationships, with people around you. Now, what I see for the advice I have the eight of wands in reverse as well as the passion ignited card. So yeah, point blank period. A lot of you need to block an X and stop giving them an opportunity to keep coming back or thinking that they can just waltz in and like say certain things to you and that you'll just take them back in open arms. Because for a lot of you, you have someone who does do that because they know that you're going to let them come back in. And for others of you, if you're like dating someone new, you need to kind of like slow your roll in terms of like rushing to like make this super official too quickly. Like, cause for a lot of you, you may not see this person's true, true, true colors yet. And that's usually how we get hurt is investing too easily into a situation or too much into a situation without really seeing this person's true, true colors. So like, this is like feeling like you're in love with somebody who you just started talking to or 
like changing up your whole routine for someone you're just now getting to know, things like that. You need to be wary of, especially if you already can see signs of someone being like very fickle emotionally. This is also taking care of your emotional health. That may affect other areas in your life and causing delays, but possible challenge that may come up. I have the material harvest card as well as the five of pentacles in reverse. So hmm. this is investing time into something and feeling like you didn't really get anything out of it. For some of you, this is like saving money, money, saving money may be an issue during this time frame, whether that's things you have to pay for, or some of you just not having the best spending habits. Yeah. Main thing I'm getting from this is like you shelling a lot of personal energy, effort, time, money into particular things, people, situations, and then feeling as if you're not getting that reciprocation back. And also just some lingering past trauma. But speaking on love specifically, I do have the two of discs as well as the power card. So a lot of you are trying to take your power back. Okay, it may be hard, it may be difficult, it may be something you're really having a hard time doing, but you guys are definitely going to be taking your power back and working on your personal level of confidence when it comes to going back out into dating if you've been single for a minute. But yeah, some of you are also really struggling when it comes to staying away from a like inconsistent connection here or... A lot of you are just tired of not being able to manifest a stable, stable relationship. And for a lot of you, <laughs> I'm not going to go too deep into this, but it has a lot to do with the way you guys are going about pursuing these connections. It may be from a trauma, like a trauma place, or you guys may be taking action on pursuing relationships from like these trauma-based emotions or trauma-based actions where it's like trying to rush into things too quickly or doing things like so sloppily because you want to get into a relationship that you're ignoring red flags. That's something you really want to avoid doing. Okay. Especially if you get the signs that someone's narcissistic. But then when it comes to career and finances, I have the queen of cups in reverse as well as the choose wisely card. Um, So with some career moves that you're about to make, you need to make sure that you really think your plan of action out thoroughly or that you get all the proper information when it comes to a business you're trying to open. When it comes to going into a particular trade, then I have the Queen of Cups in reverse and then the Knight of Swords in reverse. So for a lot of you, you're just very emotionally disconnected from what you do right now. But then at the same time, you're not really doing anything about it. So it's like just coasting. Just coasting. A lot of you are just kind of coasting with the job situation because it pays the bills. But this is what I see. I hope that I put things in perspective for you in terms of your situation. Um, if you need a personal, just check out the description. And if you want to see more of my readings, feel free to subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.